Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about the addition and subtraction of um, a matrix. So let's say we have a matrix A being equal to a 0, negative 3, 5, then we have 2. So a matrix has got what we call rows and column. So this is what we call rows. And this is what we call column. Okay. So now, another thing that I want you guys to understand here is that you can only add or subtract. Okay. A matrix which has got the same number of rows and same number of columns. Okay, so let's say we have two matrices, matrix A, I'll give you the same one, which is 0, make 3, 5, 2. And let's also say that we have matri matrix B, which is 13, make 4, 1, 5. So then, we want to add A plus B. So adding A plus B, the way you are going to be adding them, they will just be corresponding to each other. So this is going to be 0, 5, okay, then neg 3, 2, plus. Again, you write that 13, Neg four, one, five. So this three is going to be added to thirteen, or zero added to thirteen, negative three, one, just like that. So corresponding figures are going to be added to each other. Okay. So in this case, we are going to say that we we'll add now zero plus thirteen. If you want, you can put zero zero plus thirteen like that then again negative 13 or negative 3 plus 1 then 5 plus 2 5 plus 2 then 5 plus negative 4 which is the same as minus 4 then 2 plus 5 like that when you do that and we we'll discover that our final answer will be 0 plus 13 is 13 uh, 5 minus 4 is 1, then negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2, and that is going to give me 7. So this is the addition of vector A, or ma matrix A and matrix B. Okay, so what if we, we do the same one, now we do minus. Let's see, let's say we want to find A minus B. So A minus B will be equal to, I'll write this matrix, minus, again I'll rewrite that. So then A minus B will be equal to 0 plus, or 0 minus 13, so you'll write here 0 minus 13. You put them in brackets, then negative 3 minus 1, you put them in brackets, 5 minus minus 4, again you put them in brackets, then 2 minus 5, like that. So what will be the final answer? 0 minus 13 is negative 13. Then negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. 5 minus, now negative and negative is going to be positive, and I'll end up having 9. So it's going to be 5 plus 4. Then five, 2 minus 3, 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So this is the answer for A minus B. Okay? So let's try another one. Let's say we have got matrix P 
now this one you can pause the video try to solve it and then you see also how I'm going to do it so now this is going to be different I'll have 4 negative 2 0 then let me put 1 here I can put 0 here I can put even let me put 37 so I'll put 37 here okay that is my matrix P and let's say that we have got matrix C Q also being equal to negative 4 neg 2 then also 2 neg 8 then 3 6 like I said you can only add or subtract a matrix which has got him uh, same number of column and same number of rows so like we said okay so here these are going th I said this is uh, 6 so we can see clearly see that we have got how many rows we have got 1 2 we have got 1 2 what of column column we have got 3 1 2 3 okay so even this one has got the same so then how can we add how can you add a or p plus q so p plus q we definitely know that if we are to add 4 okay if we are to add 4 plus my plus negative 4 we end up having 0 negative 2 minus or oh, negative 2 plus negative 2 that is negative 4 0 plus 2 is 2 1 plus negative 8 is negative 7 okay then 0 plus 3 is 3 37 plus plus 37 plus 6 should be 43 so then this is my Q plus or P plus Q. So you can also do minus P minus Q. But one thing I want you to understand is that P plus Q is the same as Q plus P. P minus Q, there is no difference even if I do. It's the same as Q minus C. Okay? No, it's going to be different. The minus one is going to be different. But the one for positive is going to be the same. Okay? But even for minus, nothing is going to change. Let's even prove here. Let's now have the one for minus. We want now to find P minus Q. So it will be 4 minus 4. It's the same as 4 minus negative 4. Like that. Then negative 2 minus that. Like that. Then 0 minus 2. Then here 1 minus negative 8. Then 0 minus 3. 37 minus 6 so it's going to be different actually so we can clearly see that eh, our answer is going to be 4 this is going to be positive so it will I'll end up having 8 not so because it is eh, 4 minus eh, 4 minus minus 4 so which is 8 these will give me 0 then that is going to give me negative 2 0 minus, then 1 minus that one is going to give me 9 then this is going to give me negative 3 that is going to give me 31 that's the answer so now if you do p minus q I do not think this should be equal to Q minus C because if I do this minus that I'll end up having negative 8 so it's not going to be the same so P minus Q 
is not equal to q minus p but positive is the same okay that's one thing we have to understand it's also very important so this is basically the the addition and subtraction of a matrix so you need to know which ones are rows and which ones are column very important let's do a recap we say that if we have a matrix a i'll just repeat this we have a b c d so these are what we call rows and these are what we call column don't forget these are very important and these ones will be helping us to they, they will be definitely helping us when it comes for the multiplication of a matrix okay so the matrix which we are talking about there the other one it was 2 by 2 matrix and the other one was 2 by 3 it was 2 rows yeah it was 2 rows and 3 columns so that is it for this part